Good morning. I guess I, uh, quit. <laughs> I guess I picked the wrong year to quit smoking cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> for those who don't know me, my name is Ricky Waters. I've been Brian's partner in the 102 Detective Squad for the past five years. The 102 is a family, a brotherhood, and being partners with Brian was a family tradition. My cousin, retired detective Kevin O'Hay, worked in the 102 Detective Squad. He worked in the 102 for 20 years, and the last eight in the Detective Squad as Brian's partner. So it was only fitting, after Kevin retired, that I was given the privilege and honor of working with Brian as his new partner. Lucky him. Like all great partnerships, Brian and I couldn't have been more different. He was tall, good looking, in shape, always in the gym, loved the Mets and the Islanders. Me, I'm short, weird looking, <laughs> smoked a pack and a half a day, and couldn't stand either of the teams that he loved. <laughs> they better win this year, I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> but our minds, our sense of duty, and our sense of humor made our partnership work. Brian was a great detective, that was clear to everyone, but he was an even better person. I share in the loss with everyone who knew him, but I'm sad for those who had yet to know Brian and witness his generous personality. Years ago, as I was going through a divorce, shock, I had no money, nowhere to live. Without hesitation, Brian told me, come live with him. Brian and Leanne were engaged at the time, and Leanne was still living in Chicago. Brian told me, don't think twice, just grab your things and come to my house. So I did. He took care of me for months, six to be exact. He gave me free room and board and all the Bud Lights I could handle. <laughs> and if you knew Brian, he could handle a few more than I could. <laughs> when I finally moved out, he told me I had probably spent more money on gas driving back and forth from Riverhead to Queens than my entire divorce cost, and he was right. <laughs> Brian was a true friend never wanted anything in return other than know that I was okay and back on my feet. <sighs> Working with him was the best. He always had a smile on his face. He never complained about anything. And he was always up to roast who was ever in earshot of us. And that was pretty rough. <laughs> to work in the 102 squad, you need to have a pretty thick skin. We would laugh every day to the point our stomachs would hurt. He loved all you guys very much. <laughs> Brian worked hard, he played hard. He could have left many times, like his cousin said, to go work in a higher, a higher profile unit, but he would just tell me, bro, I love this place. I love you guys, where else would I be? And of course, everyone who worked with him there felt the same. Leanne, he loves you so much. From the minute you two met, he knew you were gonna be together. He would fly to Chicago any chance he got, and when I finally got to meet you, I knew why. I've never seen him so happy as the day of his wedding. And his nickname was Smiles, so you can imagine the joy he had on that day and how it overflowed into his marriage. I will miss the comfort of having Brian sitting across from me in my office. I will miss his infectious laughter and the way he lit up a room. I will miss our daily conversations, whether at work or home. I will miss my partner, but mostly I will miss my friend, Brian, and Linda, and your whole family, myself, the whole 102 precinct, the entire NYPD will always be here for you. For tears, for the solace, for remembrance, for laughter, and for smiles. This time is not going to be easy, but together we will get back to work helping the people of the city, because that's what we do. And eventually, we will get back to laughing and smiling the way Brian did. May God bless you. May God bless Detective Brian Simonson. And may God bless the MPD.